all of my uh, Sagittarians out there. So please make sure to get the book on Amazon at BarnesandNoble.com. The link will be in the description box below as usual. I'll turn the light on a little bit later. Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, share the video. Um, yeah, so let's get into it. So, let's, yeah, let's get into it. Oh, yeah, by the way, I got a special video for y'all at the uh, end of this video. So I suggest y'all really watch this video straight to the end. You know what I mean? It really helped the channel out as well as help propel me into the stratosphere. So I'd really appreciate it. So the cards that I come up with for the Sagittarians are the Eight of, of uh, Wands, the King of uh, Wands, the Hangman, oh wow. The Three of Rods, the Lovers, the Six of Rods, the Ten of Swords, the King of Swords, the Chariot, and last but not least, we have the Eight of Pentacles. So, what I'm seeing here for the Sagittarians is you Sagittarians happen to be in a situation where if any of you Sagittarians um, have some sort of communication going on between yourselves and someone whom you're supposed to be in a relationship with and you don't necessarily think that these people have your best interest in mind, it's time for you to actually leave this person because the Eight of Wands the King of Wands, the Hangman, they have a deep down hatred for you, because, not because they actually hate you, but because they actually have a disliking towards themselves. So what's going on with them is, is that they're projecting that stuff. See, the Hangman also represents repression, right? The Hangman represents repression. It represents, I'm not even going to get too deep into that stuff, but it represents the underworld, so what happens here is, is that this is a situation for this, for you, where you have to understand that you have an enemy hidden as someone who you're supposed to be in a relationship with. So obviously mm, that's not any good. That's not bueno. So you have the three of wands and then you have the lovers, which is where it is that I said that you need to watch this person very closely. Because if you don't, these people constantly around you trying to sabotage you. You got to get away from that. And the thing is, right, and it's and it's someone right up underneath your nose is someone who you're probably dating right now, if not a family member. So um, the Six of Wands, the Ten of Swords, and the King of Swords now represents how, since this is the case, every time this person get a chance, if you pay attention, this is you and this is them. Every time this person get a chance, they're going to try to get at you. So again, these people don't have your best interest in mind, Sagittarius. Then you have the chariot and the um, the eight of pentacles. The chariot and the eight of pentacles represents how you need to understand that for them, everything is twisted. And for you too, everything is twisted. You with someone who's going to, every time they get a chance, look to do something to you. And this person is twisted because... They're with someone whom they're going to try to hurt. So y'all already supposed to know that's no good. So, to, so um, let's clarify the, uh, the Eight of Pentacles. This is about rebuilding your home, rebuilding yourself, right? Your wheelhouse. You have the Corée la Mardi Gras. So basically Mardi Gras, Magic Mirror. And then you have the horn gun. So the horn gun represents the, the magus or the magician or the spellcaster. And then the the um the magic the magic mirror represents inner reflection. And then you have Mardi Gras, which represents what it appears basically what these three cards are saying is the same repetitive stuff that I've been saying throughout the entire reading. You're gonna have these people who are gonna make it look like they really cool with you, which is Mardi Gras. But deep down, no matter what it is that they say, you're supposed to leave because they'll because they talking about you like you're a dog. They treating you like you're a dog. They disrespecting you. And of course, we can't have that, right? We can't have that. So um, let's clarify the chariot. Because the chariot is the inversion. You see what I'm saying? The, you have the uh, Marasa, which is the lovers, the Shi, Li, Bo, right? 
and then you have the simbi. So again, they're using they're using the marasa or the lovers thing as a cover, right? To have you like this unsuspecting. While, while at the same time, but what you're really supposed to be doing is, I should say, you're really supposed to be defending yourself against this person and even seeking to overcome this challenge and leave them alone and leave them stranded by themselves. Because if you don't, like I said, they're going to do everything in their power to try to destroy you. So this is something that a lot of you Pisces, def excuse me, this is something that a lot of you Sagittarius, because you do share a, a planet with Pisces, Jupiter. But this is something that a lot of you Sagittarians need to watch out for, right? Um, yeah, Sagittarius is one of those zodiac signs, just like Pisces, just like Virgo, that just like Pisces, just like Virgo, that ends up getting a lot of disappointments in love and stuff like this because you come to find out that a lot of people are not really built for it the way they try to make it seem. So that's pretty much it. Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe. Peace.